congenital Zika syndrome. According to a literature review published on November 3, 2016 in JAMA Pediatrics, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention defined the congenital Zika syndrome phenotype to provide comprehensive workup and management for infants and children. Zika virus infection in pregnancy is the cause of congenital anomalies that is consistent and unique with congenital Zika syndrome. Many of the components of this syndrome, such as cognitive, sensory, and motor disabilities, are shared by other congenital infections such as congenital cytomegalovirus, rubella, varicella, and Coxsackie B infection. Distinctive features reported in congenital Zika syndrome Severe microcephaly with fetal brain disruption sequence, including partially collapsed skull, overlapping cranial sutures, prominent occipital bone, redundant scalp skin, and neurologic impairment. Brain anomalies, including cerebral cortex thinning, abnormal gyral patterns, increased fluid spaces, subcortical calcifications, corpus callosum anomalies, reduced white matter, and cerebellar vermis hypoplasia. Ocular findings, such as macular scarring, focal pigmentary retinal meddling, microphthalmia, coloboma, cataracts, and posterior anomalies, courier tunnel atrophy, and optic nerve hypoplasia, atrophy. Congenital contractures, including unilateral or bilateral club foot and arthrogryposis multiplex congenital. Neurological impairments, such as pronounced early hypotonia. Spasticity with extrapyramidal symptoms, motor disabilities, cognitive disabilities, hypotonia, irritability, excessive crying, tremors, swallowing dysfunction, vision impairment, hearing impairment, and epilepsy. Most congenital anomalies associated with Zika infection appear to be related to the neurotropic nature of the virus. On the basis of maternal symptoms, the most common timing of infection is late first and early second trimester, but third trimester infection can also cause congenital Zika syndrome. Thank you.